Hi, it's Anne Otelia Philipson. I'm from Denmark and I'm an expert in personal development and self-sabotage removal and it's permanently. It's not, not just self-sabotage removal, no, it's for good. At each session I can help you get rid of up to five self-sabotage patterns. And I'm going to say it again because that's what I've been taught at the Expert Academy last week with Brandon Bouchard. I help people find their life purpose free of all their inner self-sabotage patterns so that they can become free and be who they are in their heart and follow their true desires. Well, I can keep adding sentences and in order for you to become and feel successful with who you are, in order to become successful with what you do. I haven't made many videos in English, so please bear with me. My English is okay, but when when I had to um, say what I'm doing, it's much more easy today than it was last week because I said it again and again at Brendan Bouchard's amazing Experts Academy, which I attended in London last week. It was amazing. So who am I? I'm Sene, and I'm from Denmark, where I live near Copenhagen. In 2005, I ended up in a wheelchair. I went to sell my motorcycle. I've said goodbye to the army, which I have been in, have been in for 10 years. Um, I stopped boxing at, high, at a very high level. And I had just realized, for 28 years, I have been the Sene that I thought I was going to be. Instead of being the Sene that I am, I'm very, very highly sensitive. And I can see everything. I can feel and see and hear all your pains and your what you're going through. Um, I can see your full potential. I can see what is preventing you from living your full potential. Potential. <laughs> I can help you find your life purpose. I can see your previous lives. I can see your children, your partners, your past, everything. So in 2005, where I weren't that intuitive and aware that I am today, I ended up in a wheelchair because the universe said, Hey, Senna, it's time. Come on, grow up. Become the lady that you are rather than being a tomboy. So there I was in a wheelchair. I had almost had my left leg torn, uh, uh, torn uh, ripped, ripped off. I had lots of fractures on my pelvis. Um, even in 2003, I was in... <coughs> Can you see? A big scar. Even in, I've even participated in the Gladiators in Denmark in 2003, where I was a challenger and fell three meters to the bare ground. Um, my tailbone broke, and each um, each uh, part of my spine, what didn't go left, went the other way. So my, I was just a mess, and that was just in 2003. And then again, I ended up in a wheelchair. Uh, in 2005 and I realized it when I was stuck underneath the tractor and the light came back which I did not intend it to do because when the tractor hits me when I'm going past him on my motorcycle I was like now it's over I'm not, never gonna open my eyes again and then I was suddenly all the light was back I was stuck the tractor's wheel was here, the engine was here, and I was stuck in there. And the 16-year-old guy was still sitting up there driving his tractor. And you should see his face when he saw, saw me sitting there. Um, the doctors told me that I would never be able to do martial arts again, do skiing, go running, or being hypermobile have my hypermobility, which you have to have in order to become strong again. Um, I was also told that I had to live with my post-traumatic stress, my arthritis, my allergies, all my pains. Um, I have had a rough, rough, rough childhood with abandonment from... My mom and dad was there, but my, my dad weren't well. Um, I've been abused, I've uh, experienced lots of violence and traumas. It wasn't a very secure childhood, but there I was in 2005 and I realized 
my path had, had caught up with me. Is that the right word? My path had caught up with me. That's why I ended up in a wheelchair. My, my inner self was filled with sorrow and low self-esteem and, and the allergies and the post-traumatic stress was just a symptom of all my emotions that I had to get rid of because in my world everything is, is connected. If you have lots of unsolved feelings and emotions and you haven't forgiven and let go, that will become like acid that eats you up from the inside. So today I'm free of all the post-traumatic stress and um, all my allergies and arthritis and pain, everything is gone, my allergies, everything is perfect today. But how did I do it? Well, the doctor told me all these mm, shitty things and I said, I won't accept, we can't see it, but <clears throat> I won't accept that. For five years, every morning and every evening lying in my bed, I asked my body where things were sitting and I got rid of it. I got rid of all my sorrow, my, the feelings of abandonment, disappointment, my anger, my resistance towards myself as a female, my sensitivity and towards men and life in general, all that inner self-sabotage, I got rid of it. And at the, still, and at the, sorry, and at the still, same time, that's how to say it, sorry, and at the same time, I was crying and un, unhappy because I had all these gifts and the ability to see, but I did not have enough clients to give the, give my things and my um, gifts to. Um, but suddenly I realized, ooh, I have made my own regression therapy technique. And, and I've been doing that now for, for three or four years, for f fully fulfilling my life purpose. My life purpose, that is me. Your life purpose is you. It's all the good things and bad things that we have been through. Let's say that you have had cancer or maybe you've had lots of pain. Maybe you've gone through a divorce. Are you aware that many, many other people are still there? Many people still have cancer. Maybe pe many people are still going through a divorce. Many people are still stuck. And there you and I are at the end of the tunnel. But who is going to give them the tools to get out. Who's going to take their hand and help them through? There in 2005 up until 2010 I was just completely on my own. I did not have any relatives or family. I didn't have any friends or anything because I had the post-traumatic stress and I couldn't uh, deal with anything. My mental and physical capacity was this big but today I'm free, fulfilling my life purpose, and I can't wait to share with you the four-step vidi video that will teach you how to find your life purpose. I can't wait to do it. Doing your life purpose is easy, it's fantastic, and it excites you. But we have to be in balance physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we have to be in, in line as well with our inner self, our inner self-sabotage. And that's what I do today. I help all your inner selves connect so that they're in, at, at the same level. Um, many people know what to do, but they can't get there. They're stuck. And that, that is what I can help you with. I will, in the future, make lots of videos how to find your life purpose, how to become balanced, how to... Um, yeah, I have lots of areas that I'm an expert in. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for listening to me. It's been a, a great pleasure. Can you say that? Well, I love it. I love giving. I love sharing. I love healing and lifting, which I do with my presence. I can't wait to show you everything that I know. And now in English, not just in Danish. So please bear with my English. I am Danish. I will, I will improve again. I'm Sana Otilia Philipson, sanaphilipson.dk, intuitivementor.dk, and I help you find your life purpose. I was going to say thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. 
and have a fantastic day.